Oh man, oh, what a nice little forest walk. Oh, look at that tree. It's huge. See how big that tree is? It's massive. Hard to show perspective, but it is. There's lots of buttercups around here, in case you're wondering why I'm singing this song. You and I settled out in a cottage before. Where does that go? I don't know, to the lake. Do you, wanna, do you think there's a, a path? Ooh, this oak tree is really big too. Check it out. Mimi, hey, come on, give me some perspective. Go see the tree. Go see the tree, Mimi. Come here. Look how big it is. It's really big. Okay, come here. Mimi, sit, sit, sit. See, that's how big the tree is compared with Mimi. And Leia, there you go. There's some real perspective. It's a very big tree. Look at her little head. Look how big the tree is. Thank you, Leia. Size model. Size tree size model. <laughs> but yeah, lots of beautiful old trees. And I love how like the moss and the vines grow on them. as you can see on this one there's lots of moss and vines growing on it so it's beautiful beautiful hey Mary. Wait. oh yeah it's just like i a little bit the next time we come to this lake side Leigh and I are gonna rent a paddle boat and not smuggle anything on it and have a great time. Right, Leigh? We're not gonna smuggle anything on it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, see the buttercups? Little buttercups. All right, so now we're heading towards the lake again. Coyote sign, your favorite. We're coexisting with coyotes. How to do so? If you see a coyote, you should be big, brave, and loud. Stand tall with arms overhead and yell, Go away, coyote! Stand your ground and never run. So that's what you have to do. And don't feed any of the animals. So, yeah. Go away, coyote! What do you think, Mimi? Did that scare a coyote off, you think? See, the coyotes are trained just to know what go away coyote means, and then they will Go run. away, coyote! But if you don't say it, they'll eat you. Yeah. Or your baby. So, yeah, back on the forest walk, on the boardwalk. These boardwalks are built to protect the, uh, the, the environment next to the lake and the mud flats where, see those are irises for example, yellow irises are growing here. See that? And so, yeah. And there's some, uh, some more irises and lily pads and ducks. Yeah, and so, is that Burnaby over there? More flowers. Let's see if we can pan on the ducks. Mm. Look, you can see the wood there, it's been chewed on yeah, the beaver. beavers. Ducks. Oh. And beavers. Beavers, yeah, beaver. beaver activity. Beaver activity. Busy beavers. Busy, busy. Right, Mimi. 
Okay. And yeah, you can see some of the boats on the lake. And it's called Deer Lake, but we haven't seen any deer yet. I'm a little disappointed, but you know, it's just false advertising. And obviously I work in advertising, so I understand. But yeah, there's probably, I don't know, three kilometers of boardwalk around this lake, so it's quite pleasant for people and dogs. Uh, 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 oh, Mimi, you can meet some friends. Oh, so cute little friends. So yeah, there you go. There's the highlights of Deer Lake. This is for my YouTube channel, by the way. I have tons of fans. I think it's like mom and Tal follow me. At least two. <laughs> I have like two subscribers on my YouTube channel. Maybe one day it's gonna make me rich, but probably unlikely. But I like calling myself a YouTuber because it sounds like I have hobbies. And these, so these plants are actually called uh, skunk cabbage. And when they're a little bit younger, when the bears wake up from um, hibernation, they eat the skunk cabbage and it makes them poop. Right, Leah? Out their digestive system yep. from gravel, which was their last R meal. Right. They went to bed. So, and then they have a nice big old shit when they come out of hibernation, and that skunk cabbage helps them take a shit. So, I'm not sure if humans can have it, but. And look at those gorgeous irises, pretty yellow ones, which are my mom's favorite flower. So, if you ever want to impress my mom, that's like one of the only wildflowers that she'd be probably impressed by. Once upon a time, oh, there's someone fishing. See you now. Someone very serious fishing. Um, so once upon a time, when my dad was dating my mom, he, you know, stopped over the side of the road and picked some wildflowers. And she's from a farm family, right? So she had to weed her mom's garden. And the particular flowers that he bought were stuff that mom had to spend her summers weeding out of the garden. So she was super unimpressed. And when he, you know, knocks on the door, opens it up, expecting her to be like very impressed because he brought, bought, picked wild, wild flowers. She just opened the door and she said, those are weeds. So dad learned a lesson, not to pick those types of wildflowers because mom had trauma from a childhood as a farm girl. <sighs> oh, look at all these lily pads. Ooh, there's a cute little duck here. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know how deep Deer Lake is, um, but maybe you could jump out of the boat and have a little swim. I'm not sure. I assume it's pretty murky. Has a lot of uh, wildlife weeds. But, uh, yeah. The leaves are about to come up here. The flowers? Maybe they close up at night. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Mammy, should we check you in for a swim? It looks like that we're moving. There we go. So yeah. This is your Deer Lake tour. You're welcome, YouTube. So for all my two subscribers. You're welcome.